All right, all right, all right. Welcome back. Greetings to my gardeners, salutations to my silver stackers, and hello to the prepping community. Today we're going to talk a little bit more about getting started. A lot of my uh, community here is very new to precious metals, and, and uh, they've shown a really nice enthusiasm for it, and I get some great questions. We've done one of these videos before. Today we're going to talk about it a little bit differently. So if you are brand new to buying silver or buying precious metals or buying gold and you wanted to know how to get started, what's the best way to get started, this is going to be the video for you. Stay with me now. All right. Welcome back. Thank you for returning. Welcome to Prepping with Sarge. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We drop videos twice a week. We always talk about videos related to preparedness, including financial survival. We do a lot of stuff on, uh, you know, economic collapse, fiat currency versus precious metals. And of course, being a prepper, we also talk about gardening for food self-sufficiency. I do some product reviews. I would love to have you subscribe and join our channel. If you are returning, please remember to smash that like button up above. It really does help us up in the algorithm. At the time of filming this, we are trying to grow to 500 subscribers. So I would love it if you guys could give me a push up. There. Question of the day. Are you doing anything in your preps to help you get into a better financial position to survive an economic crisis? And if you want to share what that is, please comment down below. All right, let's do a quick shout out. I want to give a shout out to a couple members of the community who are friends of mine here. Uh, they're part of the silver community and they are Patriot Stacker and Pirate Stacker. Okay, they have really fun channels. Uh, I think you're going to like them a lot. I'm going to drop links to those down below in the description and I'll try to also remember to put that in the, uh, I'll try to pin that as the comment. But uh, if you don't see it in the pinned comment, go ahead and check it out in the description. All right, let's get right down to the business of the day. So, we, if you're brand new to silver, uh, one of the questions I get is, well, how do, how do I even get started, right? Like what's, let, let's go with today. Let's go with what, if I was going to make my first silver purchase, what should it be? Okay. And if you go back to some of my previous videos, uh, beginner's guide to silver, things like that, it will show you where to buy if you've never bought before. So, uh, most of you probably have a local coin shop in your area. If you don't, you know, and all you have to do is like a Google local coin shop or just coin shop in your city or whatever's your closest city to you. If nothing comes up, uh, you could check with your some of the jewelry stores around you. They usually have some, some uh, precious metals. And uh, if that doesn't work, uh, one website that I work with and I have been working with for years that I trust a lot is jmbullion.com. And uh, I'll put a link to that as well because uh, I, I feel very confident recommending them. I've never had a problem with any of their shipping everything always arrives the, the way it's described is always wrapped really nice so jambullion.com if you can't find a local coin shop now what's the first coin that you should buy if you're getting into this for the very first time well the answer to that is it actually depends on where which country you're from right so i'm going to recommend that whatever country you're, you're from start with that country's bullion that that country's silver coin right so uh, for example, we're, we're just going to kind of go through some examples today, and I'm going to show you. So, for example, if you're in China, you're going to want to stack the Chinese panda, okay? So all you do is you call your local coin shop and ask them if they have the Chinese panda. Now, one thing I do recommend before you before you go out and buy from your local coin shop is go online and check that day's spot price, right? So you just search silver spot price, check the date, see what it's currently going at, and uh, you're, you're gonna figure you're gonna be paying probably at least a few dollars over what that is, okay, per ounce, per ounce. Okay, so let's say that, for example, the, if I checked it today and the spot price says $24.50 per ounce, the best price I'm probably gonna see is 26 or 20, well, more like $27 per ounce, right? Uh, and it may be, depending on what's going on in the market, obviously 2020 was a really hot year. You may be paying even more than that on the premiums, okay? So that'll give you a ballpark, though, to know if you're getting a good deal or not. So let's say you're living in Australia. You're going to want to go for the Kookaburra, okay? That's going to be the coin that you're going to start with. Now, you can expand, right? Like, you can live in Australia and buy... The Chinese panda. There's nothing wrong with that. In fact, many of us do it that way. I'm just giving you an idea of a good place to start. If you are in South Africa, 
you're gonna go for the Kruger end, okay? And yeah, I should've wore gloves when I did this. There's the Kruger end, okay? Let's go through these. Okay, so the next one, let's say you're in Mexico, right? You're gonna go for the lever tad. And this one in 2020, there's a lot of controversy around this one. It's been, the 2020 lever tads were like one of the last coins to release. And uh, there was a lot of frustration in the community, including if you watched my video about, you know, bounty hunting for the silver lever tad. Uh, it's definitely, uh, this one, this one tends to be a low mintage, so you may see higher premiums on this, especially for the 2020. Okay. All right, if you're in Canada, you're going to, of course, if you're in Canada, of course you're going to go for the Silver Maple Leaf, right? And this is a gorgeous coin. I mean, it is just phenomenal. And most of us here, oh my gosh, this is what I get for not wearing gloves, folks. Most of us here in the United States also stack these. We love the maple leaves and we love the Libertads too. So that's the other thing, like, is as you expand out of whatever your country's coin is, a lot of times people will start to, a lot of times people will start to buy the coins of their adjacent country, right? All right, so Europe, I haven't forgot about your Europe. Let's, uh, let's take a look. So if you're in Europe, you're going to want to grab the Philharmonic, okay? And this, uh, this is another coin. I always get several of these a year. I love these. All right, so what if you're in Europe? You might also be interested in the Britannia, right? And there she is. <laughs> there she is. All right, there's your Britannia, folks. I, I, I joke because in the community, there's, there's, you know, some people don't like the Queen's coins. I love them. Okay, so don't please be, please be respectful to the Queen, folks. Okay. All right. So this is just kind of giving you guys some ideas. And then of course, the last coin here, uh, and arguably the most popular silver bullion coin in the, in the world is the American Silver Eagle. Okay. So anywhere in the world, this is gonna be received well. And the reason, and, and again, one more reason why I recommend that you buy, start with the coin of your country is because if you decide you don't like it, set, you don't wanna stay in the hobby, or if you don't want to stay in precious metals as an investment, uh, it's going to be real easy to unload. You can just go back to the dealer and you can basically sell it back to them if it's the coin of their country. Sorry about the camera wobble. Let me see if I can fix that. If it's the coin of their country, you can just go back and they'll um, they'll buy it back and you're going to get a decent return rate on that. Now, if you if you wait, if you're thinking, I don't like this, and I want to get out, I would say, you know, keep checking that spot price and try to find a time when it goes up if you can. So you make a little bit of a profit. But if you absolutely have to sell, you are going to be able to sell the coins of your country without problem and probably the coins of the adjacent country without problem. OK, uh, and anywhere in the world. The American Silver Eagles are going to be popular. Okay, so gives you some ideas. Uh, over here, we got some constitutional silver and things like that too. So just real briefly before we wind down the video, uh, if a lot of countries, your pre sixty, especially in the United States, your pre sixty five coinage was ninety five was I'm sorry was ninety percent silver, uh, and then some of the coins from sixty five to seventy were forty percent silver. So look at your dates when because there's some of the stuff still in circulation. You know, if you get some coins, look at your dates, see what you got, because you may have, there's still some out there and put those back because, you know, a 90% silver quarter, right? Just kind of give you an example. A 90% silver quarter. A 90% silver quarter is worth a whole lot more than 25 cents. So you don't want to spend those. You want to keep those. Okay. And your local coin shops uh, will have those as well. And actually, you know, the markdown on, not markdown, the, the premiums are not marked up as high on constitutional silver. So that's another good entry point. And other countries also have, some of your older coins have silver in them. I don't know all of that, so you'd have, you'd have to do a little research. I know a lot of the older Canadian coins have silver in them. So just kind of, just gives you some options to get started, all right? Uh, if you have any questions, please comment down below. I really appreciate that you've been with me this long. Again, if you're still watching, uh, please consider hitting that like button. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We will see you next time. Keep planting your seeds. Keep stacking your silver. This is Prepping with Sarge.